It's a little bare, it's a little rough, a little dusty, but it's still the best view. Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. What's up, my boo high squad? How you doing? Did you sleep well? I hope so. Guys, it's moving week. <laughs> so like we've got tons of boxes full of stuff, tons of boxes full of stuff, tons of boxes full of stuff, tons of boxes! <laughs> Just boxes for days, guys. Yeah, as you saw in yesterday's vlog, we've accumulated quite a few things, a lot of stuff um, since living here in the beautiful Tagaytay, Philippines, about one hour outside of Metro Manila, the big city. We've been living out here in the province now for one year, and in that one year, we like accumulated so much stuff. Um, so we've packed stuff, we've, we're getting ready to give things away, donate things, um, and guys, we're moving, finally, to the Mabuhay Squad farmhouse. Wow, OMG. Okay, so in case you're new to the vlogs, we're heading there in a sec. My partner RJ and I are moving to the Mabuhay Squad farmhouse. Crazy! And the reason why we didn't move from my condo in Metro Manila directly to the farmhouse was because last year during pandemic, they said we're gonna lock down the country for a second time. <laughs> so RJ and I are like, mm, we don't want to stay in the city. So we ended up renting a place just next door called Sonia's Garden. Stayed there for four months, then we found this rental home, stayed here for six months, um, and we had expected to actually move into our farm many months ago. We thought, like, after moving out of Manila, we would just have to, like, live at Sonia's Garden for one or two months. Nope, it took, like, pretty much a year. <laughs> but yay, finally! Thank you, life. We're moving to the Mabuhay Squad farmhouse. And it's a big move, as you can see. Oh, and you may be asking, are we finally sleeping over at the farm tonight? I'll be addressing that later in the vlog. All right, guys, we are here at the Mabuhay Squad farmhouse. Let's go inside. All right. Gosh, I love the morning light. Oh, wow, guys, do you see that? They started the modular of the kitchen. Ooh. Awesome, that looks super cool. In the last vlog, I was like breaking down what goes where, um, and it looks like they are working on this kitchen finally. So this shelving here will be above the window, I believe, like up there. Oh, that is looking super duper cool. That's a lot of compartments, <gasps> super neat. And I think this, here will be going up there, if I'm not mistaken. Sweet! Look at all the little drawers and stuff. That's great. Oh good, I wonder when they're gonna start working on the U-shaped counter, guys. <gasps> awesome. Super duper cool. I can't wait to see the kitchen completed. Here in the master bedroom, and wow guys, they fasten the light on one of the gold mirrors. Sweet, they're gonna do the other one today, I think. That looks good, man. Good choice. Oh, that looks awesome. I find those, that uh, lamp looks like a movie theater light. Right guys, doesn't it remind you of like a cinema light? <laughs> guys, in the last vlog, you saw us unboxing our mini fridge here for the um, bedroom pantry. And look at it, it looks so neat. It's like a Volkswagen vintage special edition fridge. We'll be putting like our snacks, food, you know, leftovers in here, wine, that kind of thing. Sweet. <gasps> a hairy Asian. Hey. So all of our sliding doors have mirrors, see, like so. This here is the sliding door to our master bathroom. See? Um, and keep that closed for now. All right. I love mirrors, guys. Like, opens up a space, makes a room look bigger. All right, guys, so we're setting up a mini station here in the green room. Yes. So we're just gonna close the door. Oh my gosh, guys, this is cool. I'm gonna close this window. Oh, so neat. We're finally getting to use a room for what it's used for as a room. <laughs> um, and 
I got all my essentials here. See? Got my morning coffee. Uh-huh. My mug, phone charger, and a pull-out mattress bed. Yes, because I'll probably take a nap here or something. Um, all the outlets are functional. And floor is a bit dusty still, but that's okay. They can, we can mop this later. In terms of this wall, guys, we're probably gonna end up painting a mural here. Um, our vision for this room was tropical. So like green tropical with like a touch of like lux. We're not sure yet, but can't wait to decorate this room. Uh, bed will likely be going here somewhere. We've made provisions for a television set and desk, work desk on this side. Television probably may go up there. It's actually a really cool, chill room, like for just chilling out. I like it, I love it, I love the corner. Um, guys, let's see the corner window. Can't see much of a view yet because our pool is not done, but one day that will be a nice view. And guys, we got air conditioning. Woo! That feels awesome. Sweet. Oh my God, this is so cool. Guys, my view right now. It's a little bare, it's a little rough, a little dusty, but it's still the best view. We're literally chilling in the Mabuhay Squad farmhouse. Like, literally to chill and hang out. I'm gonna have my coffee. I'm feeling so grateful now. This is, you know what? I said this in yesterday's vlog. This reminds me of moving into my family's home in Toronto, Canada back in 1989 when we moved into our uh, home there in Toronto and it was exactly like this. Except me and my brother were playing Nintendo on a little tiny TV set there at the corner <laughs> as like nine and seven year olds. Oh my gosh, this is, I'm feeling so grateful guys. Seriously, I'm trying to savor this moment. We've waited so long. And guys, I we can technically remove these stickers. See? But look, like, you know, when they paint and stuff and do more work, I don't know what work needs to be done here. Probably a little paint job and stuff. So I'm just gonna not, I'm not, I'm gonna not remove it for now. But oh, I like it. I like it so much. We invested in very good quality window frames. We went with Grand East, glass and aluminum. They did all our window frames, they did our aviary windows, everything. The handles come from them. This slash proof mesh, it's great. Oh sweet guys, do you see that? I see weaver ants. Awesome, so this is, an, a, we, this is a weaver ant highway. I love it, oh my gosh, over there too. Oh, this is so cool. We could ant watch without even going outside. There's a little hangout outpost here. They're chatting, they're like, so guys, I claim this house as my territory. No, I claim this house. Let's all claim this house. We're in the same colony. Oh, and so many random bugs have been like trapped here. Here's some kind of fly, a little moth, a forest roach right there. Oh, we're gonna have lots of roaches all over the property. And when I say forest roach, I mean like the roaches that naturally live outside in the forest. Here in the Philippines, we do have pestiferous cockroaches as well. Um, just like in the US, just like everywhere else. And they get quite big, they get big like this. It's just part of living in the tropics. But I'm sure we will have tons of lizards and stuff running around our house soon, eating all of those creatures, massive, you saw in the last vlog, that massive huntsman spider. They will help eating cockroaches, so. This home will be an entire ecosystem. But you know what, I think I wanna turn off the lights. So, here is, oh my gosh, the hammering, guys. Here is the control panel, oh! It came off, okay. This is our control panel. I guess we, oh. Oh. Oh, I love it. Sweet. Perfect. Oh, that's different, not having buttons. So when the house is like generally finished, they're gonna go e through every single room every single square inch outside the house and like fix all the imperfections. See this edge here? This is not a perfect paint. 
It like bleeds, see? They're gonna fix that. They're gonna fix like grouting, because this, this is only a first coat of grouting, I guess. There are imperfections. I actually saw one, where was that? There's like a gap, there's like some grout missing in some parts. Here, see? They need to fix this. They'll fill that, and I think they're gonna change the color of the grout. They'll put a darker color over it, so that you don't see the lines as much. Um, and yeah, so like, all these little imperfections need to be fixed. Oh no guys, my vlogging camera broke! <laughs> I set the camera up here to like do a happy dance in the room and it fell and now it won't turn on. Anyways guys, this is like years old. We've gone through like five or six of these vlogging cameras. I think it's time we upgrade. What's a good vlogging camera guys? This is the G7X, the one that like most vloggers use. It flips with a camera, right? So you could like see yourself when you're vlogging. But man, I do intend on launching a new video format, though, for this vlogging channel, um, which will require less of, like, this kind of camera. Should I go for GoPro? I don't know, what do you guys say? Alright guys, so they are finishing the housing for the jacuzzi. Yes! You saw that this housing matches that up there. Cool match. And guys, I wanted to show you something else. Something I never showed you or even talked about. See this rope here? Can you guys guess what this rope is for? Mm -hmm. Have a look at it. Now, this rope, when we pull on it, a trap door opens below you and you fall into a pit of snakes. Just kidding. It's for something. And I'm gonna leave it up to you guys, Mabuhai Squad, to guess what this rope is for. Mm -hmm. This is one of the many things that have been planned forever, like since last year. Yeah. Guys, so you've seen this uh, resident dog. He's growing up so fast, guys. Look at him. He loves hanging out on this sand. Hi there. Yes, you're growing so big, so quickly. Apparently this dog belonged to one of the workers. You saw him in a previous vlog and you guys were all like, keep him, adopt him. This is, it's called a, it's a Aspen. Street dog, yes, hi there. You're so cute. Um, but then we found out that he actually belongs to somebody, one of the workers. And then, recently, RJ and I just discovered that the worker no longer is working here. So he kind of belongs to all the workers. So he, he kind of doesn't really have an owner, I think. So, I don't know, should we adopt him? Because we do want a dog that can kind of live outside right the farm and patrol the farm we have good security here um and good security features here at the mobile high squad farmhouse it will also help to have a roving dog that you know r runs around because our current dogs right now they were raised indoors like they're truly indoor dogs yes they love spending time outside but spending time outside overnight i don't think i i can't imagine cypher or rizal or even Brittany doing that but if we take this one um, this dog grew up here on the property he knows the area inside out he's clearly well socialized with people and I wonder would you be a good watchdog for us could you patrol the outside of the Mabuhai squad farmhouse keep snakes away right anyway guys as you know I am not one to like quickly rush into getting a dog especially because it's like a child um, but what do you say should we should we adopt this little puppy? <laughs> Look at him, there he goes. Just leaving the farm. He's, where is he going? I'm curious. I'm curious to know. Does he know the entire neighborhood? Oh, he's friends with the other street dogs. I see. Interesting. Or maybe those are his parents. Now, if we do adopt him though, guys, like we literally will have to deworm him, give him his full shots, all of that because I'm pretty sure he is not like treated with any of that. He needs to get his rabies shots. Hi there. He needs to get parvo shots. Okay guys, RJ is going to break down the design of the modular. Okay, go. This here is freezer. Yeah, we have two singles. And this door. Uh, door. Yeah, freezer and fridge. Yeah. It's hidden, so you won't see it. It'll look like a cabinet and you'll open it and it's a hidden freezer, hidden fridge. 
What's up there? Cabinets. Cabinets. Okay. This what is else? For our water filter. A water dispenser. Water dispenser. Yes. Connected to our top. Connected to the tap. Awesome. And it like has this amazing filtration system. You guys will see that. More. What is this? Glasses. Mugs. Glasses. Mugs. Okay. More cabinets there. Okay. This one will be our dishwasher. Dishwasher. Awesome. This one goes up. Yeah. This is up there. Yeah. I, I knew that. This is where our sink will be. Uh, we have a large sink. Big sink. Oh, a dip in sink. Yeah. yeah. And this one cabinet for maybe for pan. Pans. Okay, uh, this is a spice rack. Spice, spice rack. rack. Yeah. All right, spice rack. From here is our. Uh, what is this? Gas top. Oh, gas top. Gas top range. Yeah. Stove. Okay. And then this is, that's a 90 cm gas top range. Okay. We have a 90 cm oven here. Oh, here's where the oven is. Okay. For like the continuum. For like roast pig, right, right yeah. One. Isn't this where your plate warmer is? Yeah. yeah. Up here is our uh, exhaust. Yeah. Okay. And then more cabinets. More cabinets. All right. And then, and then here cabinet. This is cabinet. a dish warmer. Dish warmer. And then this one is a microwave. No oven. Oven. 60 okay. PM. Here we have 90. And then I have another one. What? You've got two ovens? Yeah. Okay, oven, oven. No, but uh, this one is oven slash steamer. Oven slash steamer, okay. This is always one you better be cooking a storm every this day. This is a regular microwave. Regular microwave. What's up there? Other stuff, more shelving. And more stuff. Awesome. It's full kitchen. What's here? More cabinets. More cabinets, okay. And then your gas. Is this like a, a yeah. cooking? Uh, Ceramic top. My question though guys is like if there's gonna be an oven here, like another oven here, like is do, doesn't this get hot? Like how does it work? Like is the technology so good now that the actual unit doesn't get hot when you're cooking and baking things? I'm sure they figured this out, but if that's so if that's the case and like this doesn't burn even though you're actually cooking food, that's pretty amazing. Yay guys! We've got some great news. You won't believe it. We get to finally pee for the first time in our bathroom. RJ, let's pee together. Okay, obviously I'm not going to record us peeing in the bathroom, but yay, it works. So literally we could flush the toilet now and everything is okay. Yay. Sweet. All right. First time to use the toilet. What's that sticker? It's in Japanese, the sticker. So this is one of those like smart toilets and like with various functions. Oh, sensor position. Oh, interesting. Please remove it. Please make sure so it, it can it. tell when you're sitting on the toilet. We have to remove it. Oh, cool. And there are instructions. How neat. Oh, it comes with a remote control. Where's the remote? Guys, I'll be back. I'm going to pee. I'm so giddy. I'm so happy to finally pee in our bathroom. Okay, I just finished my business. Don't tell me it will flush by itself. Guys, we're reading the instructions, but it's in Japanese. We're just looking at the pictures. Okay, so it can wash your butt. That's cool. Different settings. You can have lots or like light and heavy. Different pressure. Oh, different temperatures. Like let's say you like it colder or warmer. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is different. Oh, you know what, because it's not on, that's why. Oh, okay, we didn't even turn it on. There's no power yet. So this smart toilet isn't technically working yet. Yeah. Oh, okay, fine. But at least we used our toilet, yay! This is a hallmark. Mark okay. the date. My turn. Okay. That is so cool. It was an honor, Mabuhai Squad, to use the toilet. Yes, we're <laughs> setting up our bed, guys. <laughs> No, this is wrong. It's, oh my gosh, RJ, have you never slept on one of these? Even I know this. There. There, yes. We setting up our bed, guys. We got a YouTube blanket ready. Yes. Oh, it, tr honestly, this totally reminds me of when I moved into our house in Toronto. Slept on something exactly like this, too. This is from my mom. This is my mom's? Yeah. Oh, thanks, yeah, mommy. Okay, RJ needs water. 
I had my coffee. Oh yes, we got this like pretty much like a fridge. Okay, sweet. I love it. It's so cool. Here. <laughs> ah, guys, this is the light. <laughs> I love it. So good. Okay, so here's the plan, Mabuhay Squad. We're not gonna sleep at the farm tonight. Um, gonna spend one last night at our rental home in Tagaytay with the dogs. And then we absolutely need to move out by tomorrow. Tomorrow is the last day um, of our lease. Um, it expires after tomorrow, our contract at that rental home. So we have to leave. And Edmark and Nika also will be leaving. They'll be moving to another place um, in Tagaytay. And our dogs will also be moving out. Um, and so going to tell you where we're going to be moving out because the dogs won't be coming here yet. Mm -hmm. I'm going to share you the exact plan of how this move is going to work later on in the vlog. Stay tuned. Yay, RJ! <laughs> Do you like the green room? Yeah. It's a good energy, right? Guys, this is actually a great place to sleep, this green room, because the sun rises there on that side. So it can spill through those leaves in the morning and into this room. What a cool place to sleep. OMG, guys, I see a flying lizard right there on the tree. See it? Right there. And it's extending its dewlap. See? Its throat fan. That is awesome. Now you saw that we caught a flying lizard. Um, let it go on this tree. I don't think that's the one we caught though. This one looks smaller. But see, look. It's extending its throat fan to like claim its territory. Watch. Isn't that awesome? So cool, love it. Now what's cool is this here is also done by anoles. It's another, another species of lizard found in the Americas, in North America. But these lizards, which are part of a completely different um, genus, also evolved this throat fan um, communication behavior. So it's an awesome um, example of Convergent evolution. Two animals, like two different lizards that developed in two parts of the world, but developed the same throat fan type behavior. Oh, that is so cool. It looks so cute. Love the life we have here at the Mabuhay Squad Farmhouse. <laughs> All right, guys, it's lunchtime. Mm. I'm going to eat saba. This is plant sweet plantain, they call here in the Philippines. Mmm, healthy, and sardines, mmm, super healthy. Guys, do you guys know sardines are healthy? I love sardines, so healthy. If you can eat sardines with like, I don't know, quinoa, brown rice, black rice. Mmm, this is quite sad. Mmm, guys, I love sardines. I would love sardines with whole wheat bread. This morning I had oatmeal and chia seeds. Mm. Can't wait. Gotta eat healthy, guys. Health is wealth. The dog's crates have arrived. Yes. Okay. All the crates. Yay. Whoa. They're now installing the glass windows. Finally, at the top of this ant room. Oh man, this is gonna be great to be able to have the ant room slash pet room completely closed in finally. These are the only remaining windows in the entire house. So this will be great. What a delicate process. Look at that guy. <laughs> They're walking on beams. <gasps> OMG, I'm nervous. Like, we're pretty high guys. That's three stories high. This here is of course the ant room, the pet room. They've used it as a temporary place to like do various other work because this room isn't exactly a priority room at the moment but happy to see progress in this room. More stuff moved in from both the condo and from the rental home. OMG, look at that. We got a lot of stuff, guys. Oh my gosh, guys. Look, tons of unopened furniture, all our stuff. 
Sweet, they've installed both of the lights on the gold mirrors and they've covered it up with newspaper. Yay! But guys, look. Look at our bedroom. Still lots of work to do, guys. Still lots. They finished the um, housing all around the jacuzzi suite. They need to add more planks here. I'm gonna do a final pan of the home. Yes, Mabuhay Squad Farmhouse. Love you so much. Watched you come together from literally the ground up. And finally, we are going to be part of this home to make memories. Yes, yay! Ah, all right guys, so it's the end of the day. Um, it's raining now. Um, it's 5.50 p.m. and we're gonna head back to Tagaytay for our last night there. OMG, can't believe it. After living there for a year, can you imagine? Um, so yeah, gonna spend the night with the dogs there in Tagaytay and then all of us are moving here tomorrow. In terms of what our exact strategy is for moving in, I'll talk more about it in tomorrow's vlog. We'll also be able to know more information as to like how the move will happen as we see the progress um, at the Mobile High Squad farmhouse. So, um, so yeah guys, sorry this is so like scattered this vlog and like information keeps changing but I guess this is how it is right? This is real life. We're winging it, right? And yay, we're finally moving! Ah! This is like, I'm trying to keep positive through this really hectic time because yeah guys a four-year journey is finally coming to an end so yeah i'm honored to go through all of this with you mabuhai squad thank you so much for watching today's vlog i will see you in tomorrow's vlog we're coming back here tomorrow and a lot of things are happening tomorrow tomorrow is a massive day so many things are moving in here tomorrow be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this vlog and hit that subscribe button. Come join our Mabuhai squad. We will be your regular dose of positive vibes online. We're moving to the Mabuhai squad farmhouse. Yay! Love you. Bye.